Hi everyone. In the last lecture, we installed both Unity 3D and UDK to our machines. So in this lecture, I'm going to walk you through starting UDK and explain some of the files and folders that we'll be using in the rest of the assignments and lectures. To begin, let's go to our start menu here and type in UDK. This brings up two fields, the UDK editor and the UDK game. We're going to be using both, but most of our work is going to be done in the editor. So to speed things up, let's send the editor to our desktop here and make a shortcut. Alright, now before we actually launch this, I wanted to walk you through the files and folders that were installed with UDK. So I'd like you to go to the default location, which should be C drive UDK. Here we're going to find the folder UDK 2013.7 or whatever the version that you have installed is. And here there are four folders. Binaries, Development, Engine, and UDK Game. We're most interested here in UDK Game, at least initially. Because in here, the two main folders we'll be using are Cooked PC and Content. When you are working on a file in the editor, your saves will be here under Content and under the Maps folder. Once you've completed a project and cooked it, it'll appear under Cooked PC and then under Maps. So we're referring back to these two folders uh, quite frequently in these lectures, so I just wanted to point that out before we begin. Next, let's start by launching the UDK editor. This may take a few minutes depending on your machine's hardware. When it's unloading, you should have something that looks similar to this. The three windows, a welcome window that has some links here, this window called the content browser, and this back window. We can get rid of this welcome window, although it has a lot of great information on it, uh, especially these tutorials, which I mentioned in some of the other lectures. These are definitely worth looking into uh, beyond the lectures provided for this course, as they can help you get hit the ground running uh, in UDK. But for now, we're just going to close this, as I'm going to explain these two main windows. Most of the work you're going to be doing is in this window here but the content browser is especially important in UDK. The content browser basically is an interface that allows you to search all of the packages within the editor and inside those packages all of the assets, meaning all the static meshes, the materials, the characters, the particles, and so on. I'll explain more later once we get into the navigation part of the lecture, so for now let's just move this or minimize it. If you ever minimize it and can't find it, it should just be down here and you can just maximize it or double click it or bring it back. This is your main window and it may either look like this or like this. In the navigation part of the lecture I'll explain what all these different windows do but for now as long as you see this then we are ready to go. And that concludes this tutorial. Uh, in the next one, navigating UDK We'll go over the controls and the user interface and all the different options that you see here because it can be a little overwhelming at first, but we'll dive into the most important things.